Tide. I'm Sunny, and these horoscopes right here, right now, are specifically for Pisces for the month of May 2018. <laughs> hey, Pisces, welcome back. I hope you're having a super amazing day or month. We're just goofing around here because we're making a lot of jokes. For those who don't know, I'm recording the horoscopes live now on uh, during our live stream, and it's a lot of fun. We're all goofing around. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm doing it so that uh, people can ask questions as we go along. Anyways, if you're interested in that, then tune into one of the live streams and hang out as we do our thing. In addition to all of that, um, I'm a professional astrologer. <laughs> I'm a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. And if you'd like a personal reading or a private reading, then just simply message, you know, find it. You know, there's more about that in the description box below. In addition to that, we do have a workshop coming up. There's a workshop every month on different parts of astrology. This one is all about compatibility of the signs and how to find compatibility on your chart. It's a lot of fun. It's not what you think. It may be what you think, but it's not exactly what you think. I, I'm not going to explain it now, <laughs> but that's the deal. What else is going on? That's about that's that's about it. <laughs> oh, live streams every morning. We have twenty dollar mini uh, astro readings here every morning, but they're live, so that's the only time I offer them. And we have tarot readings at night, almost every night. And it's a lot of fun as well. All right, let's get down to it. All right, Pisces, here's the action for you for the month of May. Do do do. So the month, actually, the energy of the month. Remember, everything is in cycle. You know, the planets don't follow the same clock that. Earth follows. <laughs> or maybe they do. I don't live on another planet. I don't. And so for Pisces, anyways. Oh, I started using. Not that anyone cares, but on the sunny side, the broadcast do. I changed the colors in the background. This is the ro rainbow color. I used to use the esoteric one where the uh, signs ruled by the same similar planets were same color, but same planets similar color. Anyways, whatever. Let's get down to it. This is a pretty chart for, this is a, just a pretty chart for Pisces. Okay, back to the action. The energy of the month, Pisces, is going to open on April 29th to April, you know, really early in the morning, uh, April 29th to April 30th, and it's going to be a full moon. And here on the sunny side, obviously, we're going to have a full moon ceremony. And wherever there's a full moon, that's where uh, the things, the moon the moon stuff in your life is fully illuminated so people are going to find out the sun is where everybody shines their light and the moon is what you want to do that's why people who talk about lunar horoscopes even though, like whatever it's um it's what you want to do and when i do the weekend horoscopes when i used to do the big weekend horoscope updates on fridays for everybody the big love scopes i'd always started out with the moon because the moon is the energy that everybody has everybody wants um the moon is the energy every the, what everybody wants to do that that uh that weekend so for this time period it's in scorpio so wherever it falls in your chart that's what you want to do and that's why i start off the weekend horoscopes with it for those you know people who are asking about um people who ask about lunar horoscopes or ascendants or says you know it's all different and i incorporate all of that stuff into all of the horoscopes here hey and one of our sunny siders, Karen, is back. Karen was in the hospital on the weekend. Just want to say, what's up, Karen? I hope you're having a super amazing day. I hope you healed nice. I hope you healed up well. You're healing up well. And a bunch of sunny siders are going under the knife this weekend. Just saying, I hope everybody is cool. And for those who don't know, because we're not going to do the horoscopes until after this video, it's tense for a lot of people right now. It's a lot of argumentative energy in the air. There's a lot of cutting going on. Physical cutting, like surgery, and emotional cutting. People cutting each other emotionally. That's just the energy of the air. And we'll get back to that in the weekly horoscopes, which are going to happen after this video. All right, Pisces. So back to the action. So the full moon is where something in your chart is going to be exposed. <laughs> so wherever it is, people are going to find out some action about you. The moon is what you, you want to do, and there's going to be more about that. Anyways, it's worth something to be. And for Pisces, that's going to fall in your astro sector of things at a distance, higher learning, and spirituality. So Pisces, if you've been wanting to take a course, people are going to find out about it. If you've been wanting to travel, people are going to find out about it. If you've been secretly dating someone from far away, they're going to find about, out about it. If you like secretly ran off and joined the Covent somewhere, people are going to find out about it. If you like, you know, if you went to Tibet, people are going to find out about it. 
it's like more like this it's kind of like this in a very like uh, a tight level if you went out and you were on vacation recently and you came back this is showing everybody the pictures this is putting your pictures on Facebook this is showing everybody what you've been up to and what the moon is saying towards the end of the month here you're gonna be you're gonna all of this part of your life stuff at a distance travel higher learning education it's all gonna be on display for everybody to see so just a heads up because if you don't want people to know then you better tighten up your ship because this is the kind of stuff that just comes blurting out like say you don't want anybody to know where you've been so say like you're dating some guy out of town right and you've been going to visit the guy out of town it's at a distance this is what it means and so you go over there and you go over there and you don't want anybody to know somebody's gonna blurt it out and you're they're gonna find out say see this is social media say you're fighting with someone at a distance because this says you're fighting with someone on social media then you don't want to say you say something say you type something into a comment section you don't want anybody to know you try and make it private everyone's gonna know so you got to be really cool about that stuff. Stuff at a distance, Pisces, is coming to light. And it's all going to happen on April 30th. All right, let's get down to the action of the month. The month is going to be pretty chill, Pisces, until... Do, 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 do. Oh, son of a gun, Sonny, what are you doing? Pisces, the Pisces, the water's getting all irregular, Pisces, the water. Sonny, it's getting wavy in here. It's getting... Oh, no, it's getting wavy in here. It's getting wavy. Sonny, that's stupid. <laughs> like... Yeah, but it's not stupid, but it's not stupid. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't have Humpy here. Humpy is, uh, I can't, it's difficult for me to do the horoscopes without Humpy. <laughs> okay. All right, so around the 7th, let's get back to some moon action. Just letting you guys know what's going on. So, or, so that's what it is. And that thing at a distance is going to set this tempo, set the tempo, it's going to set this, the, the energy in motion for the entire month of May. It's gonna shift as we move on, but that's what we're gonna, the framework that we're gonna be working under for a big chunk of May. Then <clears throat> we get to May 7th, and this here is a square in astrology. The sun here is gonna square the moon. And once again, just like there's an opposition, like a full moon, the sun is like, oh! I'm the, I'm the sun. Hallelujah! The light! The light! Right? And the moon is like, Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. I like it. I like it. Oh, more sunlight. Oh, I feel so good. Everybody look at me. I'm feeling good. You know? It's like that. All right. That's like a full moon. You might you might be, Hey, man, don't be looking at my full moon. Don't be looking at me enjoying this warmth and light. Don't be looking at... Don't be vibing on this scene. But, like, that's what's going on. Now, when the sun is square, the moon, it's a totally different vibe altogether. It's like, uh, uh, why would you love me? What's going on? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And the moon is like, dude, dude, enough with the sunlight. Enough. And then, like, this side of your face is freezing. You're like, uh, uh. And so that's what happens when there's a full moon. You feel like the world doesn't get you. And that's what's happening. The sun is always shining on you, almost always, but like it's in a situation where like you're not receiving the love and affection or the vibe the way you want to receive it. And that's definitely not cool for, for a lot of people. It's fine for some people. It's not cool for a lot of people. So for Pisces, around May 7th, this is when all the action is going to happen. And it's going to get really serious for a lot of people. This is going to be a tense month. Remember, it's going on right now as I'm making this video for everybody who's watching. Remember, there's a lot of cutting that's happening, and there are different ways to cut. Tyler was just in here asking about the tarot and astrology. The tarot has different ways to cut. We have the knives in here, the swords, so your words, you know, cut. <laughs> you know, the words cut. You know, in Chinese astrology, we had metal, metal cuts. You know, we have the wands in here, the wands of the fire, you cut by burning. You know, the cups, emotion run of old. You can emotionally scar each other. It goes on and on. And so there's a lot of cutting happening right now. Many sunny siders have gone in for surgery. That's fit, that's cutting with the knife. Many sunny siders are cutting each other with their words right now. And Pisces is going to feel this. So some signs don't care. <laughs> some, some signs do. Some signs only look like they don't care, but they really do. And other signs really just don't care. But... 
the moon is going to be at odds and that's what's going on right now and this vibe is going to wear is going to is going to spin out over and over so that's the action right now there's a tension that's happening between a square that's happening between the moon which is how you want to feel it's what you want to do so around the seventh pisces are going to want to chill out right everybody's good pisces is going to be like chill you know so here's how it works on a really easy to understand level the 12th house is all about chilling out it's things from your past it's being nostalgic it's going for a nice little stroll through everything and it's just being cool with your vibe and that's all pisces want to do they want to hang out with the vibe hey everything's cool yeah i'm pisces oh i used to go for ice cream here let's do that again or like hey yeah i used to have a scene with that cat yeah your player was the server and then like everything's cool but the sun is like you know nice and chill kind of vibe and they want to stay home oh, i'm gonna sleep in whatever i'm pisces i do whatever i want and then I'm Pisces. Nobody understands me anyways. I just do what I want. <laughs> but the sun is in communications. The spotlight is like, ah, talk, 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 talk. Drive everywhere. Go here, here, here. Drive, talk, 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 talk. talk. But Pisces is like, yo, I want to chill. And so that's obviously em emotionally at odds with what's going on. And that's the vibe. That's what a square means in astrology. And that's going to happen right here on the 7th. And that's a continuation. The energy that's going on right now as I record this video is going to come in waves. It's going to happen for the next month and it's going to get progressively worse and worse. Right now, as I make the video, there's some tough stuff that's happening for a lot of people. It's very tense and you have to you know, make it through. We're going to make it through together or you're not going to make it through. I'm going to say this again. Not everybody's going to make it, but like that's just the way life is. Hakuna Matata, player. <laughs> and so that's the scene. And that's the scene. And that's it. But once again, it's going to come in waves. And there's some tense ones happening right now as I make this video. And then there's going to be some, a lot of stuff is going to be revealed about everyone on the 28th and 29th of April. And then it's going to chill a little bit for May, up until May 7th, right? Because Mars is separating from Pluto. Let's back this up a bit. I'll show you guys. See, we're backing it up, backing it up. Mars leaves, Mars conjuncts Pluto. Oops. Mars conjuncts Pluto right around April 26th. All right, that's when the, it comes to a head. That's when whatever happened in October of 2016 comes back and haunts you. And, but as the month progresses, but that's in last month's video. But as it progresses, Mars is making a separating aspect. So it's leaving the scene, you know. Mars is moving on. Pisces is moving on. We all doing our best to move on. And then around the 7th, you know, Mars is moving on. So it's not a big deal, but it's going to be a big deal in a second. So, but on the 7th, the sun is going to square the moon. All right, let's get on with the show. Then we have some other vibing coming on. Do, 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 do. Right around the 9th, we're going to have this action right here. This is where the tension is going to build for the month. The next big wave is coming, and it's going to be a very serious wave here. And Mercury is going to cross Uranus. It's going to conjunct Uranus. And for Pisces, this is your astral sector of personal finances. So for Pisces, you've got to be careful for something very goof, you know, very crazy, some kind of goofy cuckoo bananas action happening with your finances. And that's definitely going to happen in the beginning of May. This whole wave is happening. There's a major square between your friends, your social network, you know, being mouthy on, you know, the spotlight is on <laughs> what Pisces think and how they communicate and what they say. So they're really saying a lot. And it's happening right now uh, on on social media. Pisces is fighting on, Pisces are fighting on social media. and But the, the goofy thing, like the real problem is it's going to affect your finances, Pisces. I know it's like, how could that happen, Sonny? What could this be? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing, but like it's gonna. This is the square. Your finances are going a little cuckoo bananas with your um, with your vibe. So that's the deal. That's what you have to watch out for. All right, moving on. Do 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 do. So here we go. This stuff is gonna come to a head right around. It says the 13th, but it really is gonna happen a lot earlier because we're talking applying aspects. So let's go back to say you're gonna start to feel it right around here. Mars is going to be at 28 degrees. Uranus is at 29. Mercury is at 26. This is seriously going to heat up. So you got to watch that tension right there. That's the, that's the straight action on that. You're going to feel an applying aspect. The energy is going to get more and more intense. 
Then we're going to get to a vibe. First, Mercury is going to cross. Mars on the 12th is going to make this red in astrology is bad. Mars is going to make this aspect to Uranus. So something is going to get aggressive with your thinking and communication. Expect a lot of stone throwing. Expect a lot of name calling. Expect a lot of crying. <laughs> Expect a lot of what the hell. And for Pisces, your friends, once again, this is in your financial, your astral sector of finances, personal finances. Look, so look, you know, you guys talking about rising signs, right? Watch this for rising signs. So say you're a Pisces sun, right? Let's say you're a Pisces rising. See this? I put your birthday in around this time right here. So it's not Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. But all of this is happening in your astro second house. Like it's well in your second house for almost all Pisces. Watch, we'll move it forward 10 minutes. See? See, it clicks over into your second house. Do, to do, 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 do. All right, well, it's going into your first house. <laughs> and so, oh, I'm out of Pisces. See? So, like, it doesn't really matter how you shake a stick at it. It's coming, Pisces. Anyway, it's going to affect your finances. Let's move on. And so, that's what's going on. And then we chug it ahead a little forward, a little more, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? And finally, right around the 14th, Pi Mercury's going to move on, but Mars is going to really square Uranus. And when Mars squares Uranus, and it's going to happen for a couple of days, 14, 15, right? 29, 29, 16, 0, 0, 17, 0, 0, 18, 0, 0, 19, 1. Mars finally makes it out. That's like, that's like 12 days, guys, from the moon square all the way to Mars finally getting past Pisces and that energy. That's a really big deal. It's going to be tense for a lot of people for a good solid 10 days this month. It's coming in waves and the waves are going to get progressively worse. So watch out. There's a lot of cutting right going on right now. And so everybody be cool. So the energy for Pisces is going to shift from the financial sector into their sector of communications. You're going to get really mouthy, Pisces. But, like, you know, stick up for yourself anyways. And love is coming. Anyways, we'll get on to the good stuff in a second. Then the fight that you've been having in social media is going to go behind your back. Then Pisces are going to have to watch yourself because people are going to start stabbing Pisces in the back. And that's just the action. The action is the action. And that's what's going on. All right, in addition to all of that, see those guys standing right beside each other? You're going to have a new moon in Taurus on the 15th and we're going to have a new moon ceremony here of course we have new moon ceremonies and full moon cere ceremonies so right around here on the 15th pisces is going to have a new beginning in their astro sector of communications so maybe pisces buys a new car this month right i've been saying that to a lot of people pisces might buy a new car in may pisces might get computers in may they might get new cell phones in may they might like learn a new language in may and go test it out because they are going to travel and people are going to wonder what's going on with them and so Something with communication, transportation, and travel is going to start anew in uh, May, and it's going to be it's going to be interesting. In addition to that, a couple of days later, so you're the energy is going to move on, and then they're going to you know you're going to change the way you talk about things. Then, then we got a vibe happening. Do 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 do. Then we got this kind of scene happening right around the 19th to 20th. Watch this down here, 28, 29, the sun and Venus. Watch this. Let's go back a couple of minutes. Okay, watch this. 19th, 20th, boom. <laughs> Venus is going to go into Cancer. And when Venus moves into Cancer, Pisces is going to be, pa someone's still going to be backstabbing Pisces, right? That's not going to stop. So Pisces, you watch with people backstabbing you. But love is going to go on into your astral sector of, love and romance and you're finally going to be feeling romantic again Pisces so after all this stress and all this nonsense you're finally going to be feeling loved after May 20th and right around the night of May 20th into May 21st you're going to have a new beginning in your home and family life so Pisces you might move out of your your house if you're like living with your parents you might move out you might buy a house you might move an apartment one of your roommates might move out something is going to happen the spotlight is going to be on your home life something's going to happen with your moms your family or where you live but definitely the spotlight's there everybody's going to be looking at it 
you are super romantic. You might actually move in with your boyfriend or girlfriend. Or you might, if you get married, you might move in together. Or you might get... <laughs> it's not uh, jiggy cool. So if you're going to... It's not about taking relationships to the next level. It's not about... Okay, so whatever. So just focus on the focus. So, But watch out because you're going to be fighting behind the scenes with people. People are going to come out and get you. They're going to have... This is a big deal. So I don't know what you're doing... But remember to always be cool because like always be cool because the vibe is coming and Pisces you're gonna get into a fight behind the scenes and you're not gonna know what hit you so watch your communications although you're not <laughs> like it's all fine you know be around people who understand you then the Sun is gonna be in your astro sector of home and family Venus means you're gonna be loving and creative and finally the month is gonna end it's a lot of action happening right and finally, on the 29th, the month ends in your astro sector of work and career. And so there's a full moon in your astro sector of work right here and public career. So it's going to start, the month starts at the end of April, obviously. The month starts now. All this energy is starting now. The cutting is happening now. And it's happening in every area in different ways. Remember, people are going under the knife, cutting with a knife. People are going, you know, operations. People are cutting each other with their words. People are cutting each other off in traffic. A lot of signs are going through traffic accidents. Uh, Scorpios are getting into traffic accidents and having to buy new cars. You know, so, uh, okay, that's, you know, different kind of things going on there. And so, the, and other signs have to watch out for their health. You know, there's cutting that's happening. Mars is crossing Pluto, cutting. And it happens in different areas. You know, people at work, Capricorn at work cutting corn things people are getting cut at work you got to watch that and for pisces it's happening in your social media you're cutting your friends lists in social media that's that's what's happening anyways the month is going to start with something about pisces being revealed about something at a distance you know higher learning spirituality and the month is going to end with something happening with pisces being revealed something being revealed about pisces in their um career and where they are in the world and through all of that, do, 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 let's put Pisces back here. And so out of all of that, the tension is going to be in large groups, Pisces. And it's not just social media. It's like if you work for the, if you hang out at the Rotary Club or the Lions Club or one of those kind of things, the Girl Guides, whatever you do. And your swim team, you know, it's that kind of thing. Your track team, your baseball team, your like soccer team, whatever Pisces does. And, but the fight is going to be for Pisces. That's not a Pisces, that's a Aquarius. The fight is going to be social media and the impact is going to be financial. Although this doesn't say it because we're at the end of the month. <laughs> and that's the action, Pisces. I hope you have a super wonderful month and I hope everything is cool with you. Just a reminder, I'm a professional astrologer and if you want some detail, you want me to fill in the details on what's going on with your chart personally, then just check out how to message me in the description box below and set up a, to set up an appointment and I'll gladly look at your chart and tell you what's going on and that's the action and that's the action Pisces from the sunny side.net I'm sunny wishing all Pisces the absolute best of a super beautiful month and I'll see you guys soon